What's up YouTube? GDX back here. Um, it's been a little while. I missed kind of missed uh, episode 3 um, for today as of this recording. Um, I'm not gonna tell you why. I did record a episode 3 but um, the file got corrupted. So there's a lot of change that uh, you guys don't know about. So uh, let me show you what I have and uh, uh, what I've done since the last episode and we'll get into what we're gonna do in this episode and my eyes look so creepy so it's supposed to be orange but it's like red on the pink because I thought it was purple but yeah let's get into it I guess <laughs> okay cool so this is the base you guys can see it looks a whole lot different um, I don't think I've tamed. Oh, I have tamed some stuff. Let me quickly show you. I got an Anki. This I got off camera. This wasn't in the supposed to be being episode 3. Because uh, I got this guy just now when I was doing resource gathering. Uh, it's just a basic Anki. It was a high level sword, so it's like a. We can use it for metal, even though this guy that I also tamed um, is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, if you guys didn't know, mantis are pretty cool. You can switch out, like uh, for an example, the axe to a pickaxe. You can even do this. You can even do a weapon, and they do tons more damage. But yeah, so. Uh, that's this guy, and he gets a ton of whatever I need. So if I tamed this guy up. I just tamed the Anki. Um, I don't know, I saw it. Not that we really need it, because this guy is freaking awesome. He can get all the resources I need. He gets fiber with his normal attack with no weapons grip. So, yeah. Um, so that's that guy. You might have noticed that there is a uh, a cannon and a generator on this fella. It's because uh, I actually tamed a primal carcanus. I found one of the gold instant golden kibbles in uh, in a drop. I think it was a red drop. Might have been a purple like those. And um, I tamed a carcanus like literally right here on the beach with this guy. Uh, it's auto turret, so I, you just turn it on, set the range and everything up on it and then I was just walking away from it so that the gun could get an angle to shoot until it was knocked out. And if you did not know, carcanoses have very hard shells, so trank darts and even these awesome Pugnacia arrows, they don't work on them. You need to use blunt force to knock them out, so hence the cannon. <laughs> So I tamed him up, but um, he's not actually gonna be, he's not actually gonna be like a dino I can use. I tamed him up for one simple reason, and I'll show you guys a bit later. It's uh, kind of server related. I have a small little pond just behind that mountain, way far over there, that uh, spawns like I would say 500. Uh, what I call 500 otters in one little small pond and if you fly over there it's a lag fest so <laughs> I tame out the carcanos to keep it under control <laughs> so I just put him in there on uh, aggressive and on wonder and I put one of the S plus leashes down so that he can't go out of the, the pond basically so he's just working away, keeping the population under control over there. Okay, other things that have changed. I tamed another one of these guys. I uh, I got a zombie Jerboa. I'm I mean it's a zombie Jerboa, but uh, I don't know. It wasn't that cool. I like Jerboski more. Uh, I oh not Jerboski. Uh, Bob Ross more. Uh, I found this uh, while I was flying close to something that killed a skeletal Jerboa, so uh, now 
He's a skeleton. Skeleton Bob Ross. Oops, he's still got his paintbrush and his afro. <laughs> but yeah, no skin, no nothing. Looks pretty cool, I like it. Um, other things that changed... Uh, I think all of this was in the episode before. Ooh. Now, oh, you're, you guys can already see. I've tamed up Primal Griffin in episode 3. That didn't... That would been corrupted. Like, I couldn't upload it. And then, else, I got a soul terminal over here, got some just vanilla dodos in here, just to make eggs so we can start doing the kibble stuff a bit later on. I put a few beds down here, because uh, taming like carcanoses and uh, even the primal griffin, I needed to respawn quite a bit. <laughs> I also got a grinder, this thing has been a great help. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of resources out of this from all the loot I've been collecting and then just grinding it up. Okay, and then we have an upstairs, which is currently housing my uh, beaver, which pops up beaver dams every often. And uh, my pterodon is just chilling up here. So yeah, I think, oh, and obviously the big elephant in this outside room. <laughs> I got an industrial forge for the metal smelting. Yeah, so metal smelting is going on. So today, what are we going to do today? I'm going to tell you guys. We, okay, I know you guys just saw this extra bit I built on this base, but for me it's been an episode past. So today I'm actually going to move out of this safe area right here. I mean, it's nice. I like the view. But, I mean, we can't stay in the bottom of the map the whole episode we have to move so I've decided to where I'm pointing over there in that orange area I'm gonna build my new base over there and uh, we're gonna do that right now so thank you guys for joining um, if you like the video please leave a like to show your support and uh, yeah let's get into it let me first go show you the new location and then we'll come and craft the stuff we need. Oh wait, I need to go show you the carcanus as well, so... Um, also, I've placed a few more teleporters around the map just so I can get around, you know? Oh, sneaky, uh, Sneaky's base is over there, I guess. It's new base location. Cool. Um, so... Yeah, I think it's like over here, that pond. I'll quickly go show you guys. Let's quickly just go to the, the base, new base location. It's closer and then I can just fly there and show you guys what Carcanose is doing. So I've seen a lot of your people watching uh, the video and uh, not leaving any comments. Uh, feel free to comment, guys. Um, it quite it helps out my videos as well if you comment and like so don't forget to like and uh, if you haven't already uh, subscribe because I'm gonna do daily videos um, of this series until we've basically beaten all the bosses so yeah it'll be nice to have some 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 comments to tell me how to defeat the big bosses because uh, I haven't played Buck Nation like three years so uh, I'm kind of outdated on the stuff but uh, we'll see how it goes on so this is the new location I pick let me just get a little bit higher so the walls can deload there we go um, it's like in a semi plains area our our base all bases that way I can show you on the map even though you can see the coordinates on top it's over here um, yeah, I've settled on this little piece. I think it's a uh, like nice view. Got a lake over here. Um, I don't know about the resources, but I mean ice biomes close. The volcano area is pretty close. This, I don't know what area that is, but the pink tree area is close. Um, semi mountainy foresty area over here, and then I think just over there is the redwoods 
and the deserts over there so it's kind of central um, and I kind of like it semi swamp area here it's not really a lot of sh swamp stuff that spawns here um, a lot of rexes and, and flake <gasps> what's that is that what astrocetus that looks like a zombie astrocetus wait let me just oh it's not it's just a normal one wow that is red coloring look like the zombie red you can find on the diners or even conflagrant I guess okay cool so this is the base location <laughs> we're gonna start building our base today I left this bit open over here um, I, I think I'm gonna wanna build my base over there and have like a balcony or something overhang over here um, but yeah we'll get, we'll get into that now well soon let me quickly go show you my uh, primal carcanus over here doing his job keeping the server a little less laggy <laughs> I don't know some of these areas just spawns so much diners I don't know how to fix that so if you guys know how to like reduce specific dino spawns um, please let me know that would be really helpful so you can see it's already lagging as I get closer but uh, imagine the amount of beavers and fish in here now at the times by a hundred that's what it was I literally I flew here just over over here I felt the lag over there so I I, I went up a bit so they deload and uh, it was fine but as soon as you go like over here and they load in like literally I I was like walking down this to see how close I can get and I was on the cliff over here and the server well, my game crashed not the server crashed my game crashed so what I did tamed the Carcanos with the Paracerotherium and uh, I literally just landed up here set him on aggressive um, set him to follow me and uh, set him on wonder and I literally just flew this way and he jumped off and uh, as he was falling down I unfollowed him which is you and uh, he started messing the stuff up and about 10 minutes later I, I was able to fly down here without getting too much lag and uh, potential crashing so yeah he's just going ham keeping the population under as you guys can see you can see them spawn in it's crazy. I don't know how how I'm gonna fix this. I mean, this is kind of a fix, but yeah, I don't know. I guess it's fine. Yeah, you can see the red ring now of the 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 S plus leash. S plus. Yeah, it's S plus leash. Where is it? It's somewhere in the water over here. Oh no! Don't do that. I can't see. Well, I placed it somewhere down there, so uh, he'll stay within that area and he won't be able to leave. So he's on aggressive and wander, and he's just keeping the fish population under control. Fish and otters, because there's more otters than fish in this area. It's crazy. They spawn so much. <laughs> okay, but cool. Uh, guess, uh, I think that's... You guys are all updated by now. All caught up. So, uh, I don't think I have any other diners that I got to show you guys. Oh, let's be dismounted. So, our tape jar. Oh, this we tamed in the uh, previous episode uh, 2.1. Episode 2.1. It's a new lithic crystal wyvern. It was pretty cool. The worst time I've ever done, even on a modded server. I have to say, it took me literally an hour and 20 minutes to tame it. But, well, if you do it constantly and have no interruptions, it should take you an hour and 10 minutes to tame it. It took me about 3 hours to tame it. Just because it, it was getting hit by wild dinos and by, my, by myself by accident. I'm trying to keep it safe. 
hit it a few times and then once it gets hit the timing just drops to zero you have to start all over again and uh, yeah if you guys haven't go watch the previous episode it's pretty cool we test the guy out and uh, he's pretty freaking strong so yeah and uh, let's get into the base building I guess let's go let's go to our previous base gonna craft some foundations and stuff up and we'll get started on the base I think I'm gonna try and build a base with different rooms for all the equipment like I have like a a like uh, a room for like the smithies a room for maybe the um, fabricator and the chemistry bench uh, and then a room for food stuff and I'll probably make a a grill as well and yeah stuff like that you know okay cool let's get started we need a we're gonna go for structures we're gonna do metal cause I haven't showed you guys I've been gathering up metal Ooh. okay well I've used most of it to make those freaking colossal walls but we still have some metal Just pull all of that. So it's a decent amount. We can quickly go go get more. Um, okay, so we want foundations, uh, storage, metal foundations. Okay, let's see how much are we gonna craft. Mm, to start off with, let's say, let's make 50 of the normal ones, and I'm gonna make like, I guess 80 of the triangle ones to start off. Hopefully we have enough for all of this. Oh, uh. Uh, I killed some semi small and uh, yeah what boss was it I can't even remember but I got chibis that's why you can see I have a I have a cute little saber tooth chibi uh, where are you go come here there you go look at this guy I called him Steve Steve is my body from now on He's pretty cool. I like the green eyes, yellowish green eyes. He's pretty cool. <laughs> so we got that one, and then we also got the the Fiomia. The Fiomia one just looks crazy. I call them fatty. <laughs> Look at them. Come this way. Come here, fatty. Let me show the people. Just look at him. He's <laughs> got a really fat head. <laughs> but yeah, I like uh, I like Steve. Steve's pretty cool. Yeah, Steve's pretty cool. I like Steve. Let's go put this guy back in here. Okay, so we have 50 of that. And we need 80 of these ones. Ooh, cementing paste. Hmm. of more of cementing paste get that going um, see how many I, we can craft 18 oh my gosh Actually, I need 18. Uh, and add cementing paste Yeah. Guess 
gonna have to wait for this guy. Oh yeah, it doesn't pull when he's busy crafting. I can probably just manually move some of these over so I can get get to crafting. Another 32 of those. Oh, and uh, you guys can see I have the Mind white tonic in my inventory. It's because uh, I added new mods. <laughs> I added all of the. Well, I got eco trees. Let me just check here. I got eco trees, eco in Wonderland, and eco RP decor added into into my server. So uh, now we can make our bases look awesome. I also fixed the dino colorizer. I had it in but it wasn't working but I also fixed that so unfortunately with the auto Ingram learner it's already past level 1 so uh, these guys there's no way for me to unlock them unless I reset it and re reallocate my my skill points so uh, probably gonna wanna do that let me just put this in here I'm just gonna use it Okay, so let's get our stats. I think I'm only gonna go for a thousand health. Ah, I ever clicked. God dang it. Let's make like 220 stem, should be good. Go like 400 oxygen. Water and food, I'm not gonna touch. Let's go a thousand weight. The movement speed up again. What was my movement speed like? 200? Was it maybe 250? 250 should be good. I got to do fortitude as well. And 140, 40 sh should be good enough. Uh, it's a melee damage. See if we can get it up to five. There we go. And some crafting speed, I guess. Cool. Have we learned it? Yes. Now we can actually use those. I'll I'll make it in the in a new base location once we finish building basically the structures. Ah, accidentally turned this off. You need to keep cooking. Oh, I love these dados. I mean, 301 gasoline in here and I haven't crafted a single piece. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I like it. Okay, I guess... Uh, oh, I need to probably pick up the stuff. We need that, and we need that. Psh, nothing else we need in here. Cool. Oh, by the way, this primal griffin is a beast. A natural beast. I mean, I can quickly show you guys some damage, I guess. Let's do it on this pronto. Okay. Numbers were a little bit overlapping there, but it's like 400,000. I don't know why the one said 600,000. Oh, it's 600,000. Must have leveled it a, a little bit more. So yeah, 600,000 on the swoop slap, I guess. Another primal carcass. I might just tame one just to show you guys how I did it. Because uh, that video got corrupt, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tame one maybe next episode. Because uh, it would be nice to actually have one we can, uh, I can use, you know, go around on the map. Because, like I said, that one was basically a semi-server fix. <laughs> let's let's start building the base. Come on. Oh, I also got a a pretty cool um, long neck rifle in a drop. And actually, showing you guys. So we are 746, I think it's almost max, I think 775 or something's max that you can get on weapon damage. 
like this thing is a beast and I also got a Parados compound bow from killing a dino and uh, I made some of these arrows the Parados poison arrows now this isn't the top tier one but this one is pretty awesome because if you hit a dino with this once and you let's say I hit him once with this and I knock him out with the normal arrows this arrow will apply an effect to him so as soon as you knock it out his uh, food will go all the way down so you don't need to use a tame elixir because uh, his food would already be all the way down which is pretty cool so they make taming up dinos super fast and nice uh, you can see I have uh, some instant golden kibble in my inventory. It's just before this episode where I'm building my new base. Ancient Rexus spawned over there and he was giving me a little bit of trouble. So I had to take care of him. But I'll kill the Ancient, ancient Rex um, on a video for you guys to see how my griffin does against it so you guys can see. And uh, then we'll go tame a Corkinus or something. I'll do that next episode. But yeah, um, let's start with the base. Oh, I need to. Yeah, I need to get rid of all these rocks. Nice and easy. Uh, nope. Not left click. Not right click. Keep me my mantis. Hey mantis, how are you doing? You want? You can borrow my pick, and let's just. Get rid of all of this. Uh, uh, move rocks. I uh, probably should take care of the bushes as well. Might be in our way. I need that. Get some fiber, I guess. Come on, bushes. Yeah, this guy's an absolute beast at gathering. Fiber flints, that touch wood, metal even. It's pretty cool. Okay, cool. You can just tell over there. And this griffin is great for building because it zooms you out so far, far especially placing these guys. Oh, it was so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna have to place this thing. Like, I kind of want to align it so. How's that look? Back this way. Mm. I mean, that looks good. Not really in the metal, I can probably fix that. Where would the metal be? Like over here? I think I need to turn it a little bit more. If I look at that, maybe just a little bit. Like if I go like this, let's go like this to the corner. Go sideways. Ooh, that's pretty close. Might need to turn it just a hair this way. Let's see if we can match it up now straight oh still a hair more I guess just a hair just a hair there we go oh wait, wait. stop it okay from that corner oh wow that's so close I would call that good it's kind of in the middle. Boom. There we go. Oh, wow. 
I forgot. It's okay. I forgot I can place it in the air so it wouldn't place it on the floor. <laughs> it's okay, we can just do this. Boom. <laughs> let's uh <laughs> let's grab uh our S plus gun. And uh, uh let's go with the structures. Pick up. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool, so pretty high so um I don't know which base I'm gonna like base design I'm gonna go for let's just start building I guess I me it's gonna be easier if I just do this okay. mm, let's start with something like this obviously those can fall in there So if you're building with triangles and um, square foundations, you want to go attach the squares always to triangles and the triangles always to squares. So don't go, s you, you guys know what I mean, like don't go, like if I put a square here it's going to mess it up because I can't put a triangle in that corners, you see. So if I, you know, if I just go triangle, 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 it falls in perfectly. So it's always triangle, square, triangle. Just keep going in that pattern. Doesn't matter how you. Uh -uh. No, you didn't place. Doesn't matter how you start. If you start with this block, or you start with a triangle, or you start with two. You can do two triangles. Like if you remove this metal block and you put those two like against each other, um, that's what we have have on the our base at currently. That also works. So I want to add these to the triangles. Then ah, so I'm used to getting into inventory to select. Let's do this. Oh no, wrong placement over there. Just uh, pick you up. Get these filled in. Um, I'm gonna have a balcony, so maybe you can go one more out this way. Like that, and uh, let me think. I do this. Come on, snap. Oh, you snapped into the ground. Ah, so you. Luckily, I can pick you up with this plus gun through me. Through the ground. Oh. Okay, so from this one right here, go okay, cool like that. Slap that one in there, that one in there, that one in there. Let's go game mode around the sun. I mean, looks kind of cool. Nice little shape. Maybe, maybe we can push it out a bit more. Let's see. So I have a little lip over here. It started on one of these, so we can probably. Oh, I'm gonna need more. We can probably go like this. Um, here. Yeah, I'm gonna need more, a whole lot more, the triangles, the triangle goes there, triangle goes there, and I can, nope, 
Is that there? Thank you. Right, right there. Thank you. Enough triangle over there. I think this should be good enough. Yeah, it's like a little overhang. Not too much though. Maybe we'll build it a little bit more out. I don't know. But uh, I kind of like this shape. Like stepping it out and stepping it out. We're gonna have our main entrance over here. Like over here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna need about that. Two, three, four more triangles. But I, I'm obviously gonna make more than just four. Because we might build like structures over there. And, you know, but. We'll, yeah, we just have to see. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to base. Mm. Mantis. I'm gonna leave the griffin here. So I don't really need him. Oh wow. Some of those. Let's chuck these in here. He's the honey cake. It's pretty cool. Okay, um. Let's go Mantis, let's go back to base. <coughs> yeah, and then I'm gonna have to move everything over to our new base location once I've done with the design. Um, what is in your inventory? Is it just... can start metal cooking... Uh, I'm just gonna leave him here with the stuff in his inventory. I'll move it out of his inventory later on. He has a lot of weight, so. Yep. It's probably gonna be finished before I get to the bottom of my base, but <laughs> we'll just. Let that smelt. Every little bit helps. Okay, cool. So, pick up the gasoline. Pro should probably stop picking it up. I have so much of it already. Okay, structure is metal. How many did I say I need it? Well, I, go, I said I'm gonna make more than I actually do need, so. Let's make another 40. It's a mending place, why isn't it pulling from here? Oh, it's still crafting. Jeez, it's almost finished there. Oh, well, I can probably cancel that. Should be fine now. Structures, middle, boom, 40. Uh, thank you. 40 of those. Then we should probably. Get a door. Let's wait for that to finish. I'll just go for one of these. It's gonna fit perfectly. And uh, for the entrance, we need ramp or stairs. I need two of those at least. Boom. Get the ramps. Let's make two of these as well. Let's make ten of these actually. Just a half. I need that, I need that, I need that, and I need that. Okay, cool. That'll be good. No, no I'm not going to pick up the gas. I have too much of it. Okay, I left my griffin there so I can just teleport. Yeah, let's, uh, let's build the space. Um, I'm gonna do it like last time. I'm not gonna build the full base because that would literally take hours upon hours. 
So I'm only gonna like build the start up and then uh, probably finish the rest of it offline. Just to give you guys an idea more or less how it's gonna look. Ugh, I don't like that. Let me pick you two up. Hmm, how are we gonna go about this? Should I just do... Well, I can do... That's gonna make it a one going up. Hmm, maybe... Hey, where is that one place? Bet you it places placed underneath. I know, it didn't place at all, I guess. Okay, maybe like that. Hmm. What if we just break this up a bit? It's a little blocky. And if we do this, and uh, we can just do this, I think that'll be nice. Like I've installed the eco mod, so the, it's gonna be a wall over there. So we might put some plants or something nice in those little sections. Let's get these rails. Switch these. To mm, nope, the wrong one. I guess. And, uh, structure there. Got the stairs. How to do that? Yeah, this is gonna look cool. Nice, a big door. Cool. Let's uh, finish these. Cool, cool. The wall's gonna go all the way around like that. We do have here one, two, three. So there is a metal. I can place a door. Ooh, let's do something cool. One, two, three. If I place a door there, if I do this. I do some design. Oh yeah, I forgot the stupid triangles doesn't snap when you're in the air. They need to fix that. It's going to be too blocky if I build it like this. No, that's not where I wanted you. Why did you place there? I wanted you to go over there. Thank you. And you can have a little balcony like that. And, uh... Ooh. A Luna la Lamprey? Hmm. I mean, I think that's gonna look cool. A little. Oh, don't worry, I'll put some supports and stuff at the bottom to make it look legit. But, uh, see the base there, and then a little walkout. Maybe I'll make it a bit bigger. I'll have to see. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can chuck a, a, a cliff platform down here. Ooh, that'll be nice. Because it's against a cliff. And I can put a cliff, a round cliff platform over here. And just make a door there. Maybe a little ramp depends on how level I can get it. And that can be a huge balcony. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I think that's gonna look freaking awesome. Let me pick this up. Pick you guys up. You up. Cool. Let me quickly go. 
grab a cliff platform. To craft a metal cliff. Or oh, maybe we should do it. Wood stone. Mm, what's gonna look the best? It's probably gonna be wood. I mean, here's a wood one. We can see. Mm, maybe not wood. Maybe we'll go for stone. And if the stone's not. Stone looks alright, has some wood in it and then stone in the middle. 800 fungal wood, do I even have that? Oh, I do. Metal, and there's also a glass one. Which is actually not that expensive. Yeah, fuck it, let's, let's go for the glass one. Uh, we're gonna need more railings eventually, but uh, for now it's okay. I'm just gonna drop these off. Um, let's start with. Ooh. Make sure our twelve walls is a bit high. Well, if I make it twelve walls high, I can have. Three sections of four walls off, four, six, four sections, twelve, yeah, four, eight, twelve. So gonna have four wall high rooms. Mm, maybe, maybe not. You know what? I'm gonna craft. No, how many? How many do we need to see? Like four. Let's, see. Let's do eight. If I can, even. Yeah, cool. Get that started. And I'm uh, gonna need some more railings, but we'll we'll get to that. Not too worried about building new railings right now. Just wanna get the layout of the base placed. So we have about 20 minutes left on this episode. I'm gonna have to hurry our butt. Or my butt. I'm gonna have to hurry my butt, <laughs> I should say. Let's uh, put the walls there, cliff platform there. Let's uh, place the cliff platform first. Mm, cliff platform. Let's see how high I can. Oh, I must. It's kind of centered, isn't it? Oh, it's okay, mode. Should be pretty centered. And yeah, here now a hair, not a not just just that a little bit. There we go. Boom. Mm. It looks pretty cool. How does it look from beneath? Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. Now, let's get to these walls. Should probably do this not on the griffin. Because it's gonna be a hard place. Because I need to change the directions. To there. Mm. Get it up there. It's a uh, second one. There. Door's gonna be there. So let's place just two there. Now two more. 
instead of that one. How's that gonna look? Oh, I need to turn these particles off. Uh, you can't turn off particles, thank you. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty cool. What about the balcony? I need a little ramp there. Have a little balcony. We can like straight straight to this line. We can just build the uh, rails. Railings to there and then all the way around like that and then bring it back in. Just so it's like sectioned off. And I'm gonna have to find a way to like close this section and this section over here as well. Oh, don't land, don't land. I did not mean to press spacebar. Cool. Oh, another thing. If you guys didn't know, if you ex by accident press spacebar and you're done trying to land, if you press left, right, just tap left, right a few times, it cancels it. Because if you're, if you're like flying super high up and you accidentally hit space, you can press forward, backwards, like if you hold backwards, it just shivers and if you let go, it still goes down. So you just tap left, right, left, right, and it cancels it. Cool little trip fee tip for you guys. <coughs> and I think this is going to be cool. Probably going to just wall this off with some uh, foundations. Uh, which we probably should go and get. Have some windows in. We're gonna have uh, what's it? Four, eight, twelve. So three floors. Mm. Or should we just build this <laughs> entire base as it is on this platform? I mean, uh, I can start base like where my my pointer is, like over here, exactly the same as I built it there, and just build it back towards that, and then we still have a decent like uh, hang over here, ledge, balcony, if you will. Yeah, maybe I'll push it back, but that's going to be the general shape of our uh, base. Yeah. I think that's going to look pretty freaking awesome. Also, if you guys didn't know, these are colossal walls and uh, colossal gates. Um, it's in the Pactinacia smith you can craft them. There's a... I think there's a wood variant, but I know there's stone and metal. Let's go. Yeah, got. Uh, colossal, yeah. Okay, so this is stone. There's no wood. There's stone, metal, and deck. Colossal structures. Very cool. I, I obviously use the metal ones. A little bit expensive. I mean, 2,800 metal is not that bad to get. 450 obsidian is kind of okay, but it's mending paste. The 500 is mending paste. I think it's the worst to get. Well, it depends on which map you're on. Like, I don't know where to get a lot of mending paste on this map. I know I can use my beaver, and I've been using him getting... Uh, getting cementing paste from the dams he spawns. Maybe I should just get like a few beavers and build like a little beaver cage somewhere in my base. And uh, just set them on wonder and let them spawn just a ton of it. But the thing is I have to be there to collect it otherwise they despawn as well. So yeah. But yeah the obsidian is really easy for me to get. I have a place where I can literally get thousands of on thousands of it. So yeah, and then the gate, uh, 1200, not bad. 1800 for the actual gates, not too bad. But yeah, the deck stuff's gonna be awesome, but geez, 
Gonna have to fight some bosses and get some elements first. Element, I mean. But yeah, that's gonna... I might just leave it like this. I can use this as a, like a landing pad. Yeah, stop that. I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll just wall it off like that. And like that. Put railings like over there. And uh, yeah, and I'll just use this as a landing pad. I mean, I can land here, go into my base if I need to craft stuff or get stuff, come back out, take the flyer, and just, you know, fly off. It's pretty cool. Okay, so, so, okay, let's, let's just continue. I'm, I'm just babbling on, not doing anything. So we need metal fence foundations. Metal fence foundations, quite a few of them. How's my metal? Uh, so metal fence supports. We're gonna go for the supports or the fence foundations. I mean, these would be good on the platform. Because it's a flat area. Hmm. But I know you can hide. I can hide these. And I don't think. Oh no, they do have collision, do, don't they? Yeah, so let's just make some of these. 20 is probably not going to be enough. This is a big area we need to cover. And then we need... Railings. Mm. Just wait for these to craft up. Can we make more railings? Because we're going to need it. Just do another 40. I know I'm crafting too much and I can calculate the exact amount I need, but if I craft too much, I can always just chuck it in the grinder. I'm not going to get all the resources back, and uh, but I mean, I waste a little bit of resources. Well, I waste half my resources on the extra stuff I craft, and uh, I mean. Metal is really not that hard to get. It's mending paste a little bit, but it's not that bad. Okay, um, so we have that. Nothing else. No, I'm not gonna pick up more gasoline. There's even gasoline in here. Because you need that in there. Let's just go back. Let's get these foundations, fence foundations placed, and we can see how it's going to look. Uh, okay. It's going to snap to this though. Mm. Mm -hmm. How long am I going to do this? If I do it like that and I just move this way, kind of in the middle. Come on. Snap to it. Oh, it's gonna jump up. That's what I was afraid of. Hmm. Oh, we'll sort that out. Let's, uh. What was it, G? Yeah. Oh, the angle's not gonna be. I'm gonna have to place this one. Manually. Well. 
get it lined up as good as possible. And it's gonna be no. This needs to be a hair. No, a hair. I said a hair. <gasps> Gosh dang it. I fed off. Me teleport back up. <laughs> Probably bolt the ramp and brought it with. Okay, let's uh, oh, what bar? Let's uh, try this again. Trying to line this stuff up is so hard, so difficult. See, so it goes out by so back. Mm. There we go. That should be pretty lined. <gasps> I did it again. No! No! No, I can't get up. <laughs> Damn it. Rest of this episode, GTX is just gonna be falling off the cliff. <laughs> Trying to align this stupid thing. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna align it here. I'm just gonna start it on that aligned. Yeah, that looks good. Just gonna start it over here. Boom. Okay, so now if you push G, there we go. And G. And G, boom. And then this one, uh, why isn't this angle? <sighs> it's so annoying. I should put snap points for this foundation. Oh, I'm gonna have to. How am I gonna do this? Because I can't see the freaking foundation here. It should be halfway in. But now I can't stand like there. Nothing for me to stand on, so... Yeah, I'm gonna fall off. Yeah, it's gonna have a gap there, no... Okay, I'll tell you guys what, I'll do that on, like, this is just wasting a lot of time. Let's just do these. Gonna have to line this up with, like, if it hits the wall over here, I'll be good with it. So, just gonna wait. What happened there? Why did it move? Get that nice little. Uh, it's also gonna dip down there. Ugh, I should have made the fence supports. I'm just gonna go make fence supports. This is not going good. These fence foundations are. They're so bad. Just camera down. Um, so, and metal ones. Give me. It's only gonna be two signs. At twenty should be enough. Get this crafted up. In the hot bar. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back again. 
place these pin supports. Fence supports. I like these ones. So once you've placed them, kind of stand, hit it in the middle, so it should be good. Uh, that should be good. I don't want to do that. G, boom. G, like you see, it, it clips, clips down, keeps it level. I don't like that. Oh uh, wow, we're gonna have a problem here. Yeah, that's gonna go inside the base. What was it? Q? No. Was. Is it? Yeah. Keep pressing G. Oh man. Ugh, I should have done it from the other side. A small little gap there. I mean, that should be good enough. It's gonna melt. It's gonna be at a little bit of an angle, but that should be fine. Okay, let's do this side. Now this side's gonna be easy, because I can start from... From this... Which one? I built it from this, yeah. Yeah, and this. Okay, so let's see where is the metal like this. Now I can place it like just where the bubble touches, I believe. Like there. Yeah, that should be good. G. 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 Two more. G. Oh, that's my alarm. Stop it. Not done. And a G. Boom. Look at this one. So perfect. Nice. Nice. I'll probably just. I'm just going to pick up this wall. Probably just do this. It's going to be nice. It's going to look nice. Just look at this. We don't need the reference no more. Probably pick these two up as well. Can snap this down here. So it's gonna go like this. Like oh, look at that. So perfect. And this side's not going to be perfect. Ugh, because of that. Hmm. Let's see if I can fix this. I go like this. Where's the metal? It's like kind of here. Bring the angle, or bring the angle out a little bit. Ugh, okay, that puts it so far away, so. Just do this. Right here in the middle of the ball. Like that. Look at the angle, should be good. Boom. It's going to work. G. Oh, we can clip it into there. Maybe waste the wall or something. Yeah, I'm going to have to waste one wall to clip it there. Just to close that edge. But that's better than it being over here. 
That's gonna be perfect. Oh, was that a gap? Did I just see gap. Wow, look at that tiny little gap. Damn, it's not perfect, but it's not really that noticeable. Should be good. So that's gonna close there. This one's unfortunately gonna have to be clipped. It's gonna go all the way over there. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Gonna have a beautiful big area for our dinos. Maybe build a hmm. Gonna go a little bit long on this episode, guys. Ooh, maybe I should not pick this up before I get this stuff, just in case I miss it up. Where's my griffin? Oh. It's over here. Let's go, Griffin. Gonna build a little stand for the teleporter pad and I'll probably put the feeding troughs next to it so uh, it covers the whole area. It should be good. So let's grab gonna need these that one and that one let's get some ramps mm, let's just make ten of them good drop the things foundations in here we don't need them now ten of those that should be good okay cool 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 let's quickly finish this off Just go there. It's gonna take us to where I wanna bolt. Boop. How in the middle is this teleporter? Not really that much in the middle. Probably make it over there. Oh yeah, forgot it does that little fire thing. Can you stop it? Like right here. So we'll place this block. Um. Yeah, that should be fine. Mm, let's go... Just triangles next. Can I even... I can't do that. Mm, might not work. Let's add it to the hotbar. Is this gonna... No, it's not gonna work. Damn. I have to pick this one and this one up. Hmm. Let's pick this one and this one up. And this one. I'll just go start it like this. And I can place four of these. And I can throw those in. Like that. Yeah, I think that should be good. Then maybe I can put the feeding trough like on the side here. Yeah. I think that'll work. And one, two. can't really put this if I spawn big, well big dinos were able to walk over these so it should work. I'll just do this, like that, some ramps over here, there we go, pick up this teleporter. Uh, 
Ah, probably could have just placed one. Just to line this up. Good. Is it lined up there? Hmm. I don't think. Maybe you should just line it up with this this little line. That should be oh, yeah. Place it right there. Boom. Rename it. GTX. Uh, base. New base place. Boom. Cool. Yeah. So we spawn in with big diners. They can walk over these. So should be fine. That looks pretty cool. Maybe I can even... Uh, where did that place? Over right here? Don't want you there. I want you to be over there. Over there. Over there. Over there. Yeah. Should be cool. Now the feeding trough I'm probably gonna put just next to it so I can do this. Chuck the flea feeding trough over there. I'll just do this. Put the feeding trough over there and uh, might have an item collector just in case I do have dinos like the Actana that uh produces passive stuff so I can uh, get that constantly be picked up and out of the inventory so we'll just slap that on the other side yeah I think that looks pretty cool I wish you wait a second there is something I can fill in there oh but it's ramps it's not uh, don't think it's gonna work. No, it's not gonna work because it's ramps. It's not roof. If I made that uh, roof pieces, I could have had that uh, triangle roof piece snap in here. But I don't think it's gonna work because it's metal. It's uh, metal ramps. Don't say the stairs, I guess. Should look uh, better with stairs. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, I think that's going to do it for today. I'll uh, finish my base. The base building. Um, the structure building and I might even move the stuff over and once I'm done I'll probably make a video and show you guys around uh, thank you guys for watching uh, please do leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and share it with your friends um, I would greatly appreciate it and if some of you really want to play on my server and are willing to abide by some rules you can hit me up. I have a few spots, like four spots open. Um, yeah, just hit me up in a message, and um, I'm gonna ask you a few stuff. Might need to build me a few stuff, and uh, then maybe I'll select a few of you to come and join me. Um, like I said, it's a ten. It's a 10 player server I have, so there's already a few people playing, but I have like 4 slots. So if any of you guys are interested in joining, just hit me up, send me a message, or even leave a comment that said you want to join. And I'll get in contact with you guys, uh, to give you like uh, passwords and stuff like that to join. So yeah, um, so 
but that's going to do this for this episode. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one pretty soon. Uh, I'm just going to finish up the base and probably move all my dinosaur stuff over. And then yeah, I'll see you in the next one. So bye everyone.